Here are the top most strongest gods in Greek mythology. Let's start with 10. Morpheus Morpheus the god of dreams and sleep. One of the lesser known gods, Morpheus, is the god of sleep and the god of dreams. While you sleep, he will enter your dreamscape in the form of a human, so while you're sleeping, you won't realize that Morpheus is present. An example of this comes from the story Alci-1 and CX. In the story, CX dies at sea, when Alci-1 sleeps Morpheus, takes the form of CX to tell her that her husband has died and that she is now a widow. Morpheus is almost like a nighttime Hermes. Morpheus was the leader of the Oniroi, dreams, and he and his brothers were the personified spirits of dreams. Phobiter created phobic or scary dreams. Phantasis created unreal or phantasmic dreams. What set Morpheus apart from his brothers as his ability to influence the dreams of gods, heroes, and kings. 9. Hephaestus. The god of the forge. Also known as the god of fire, Hephaestus mounts his anvil in a volcano. He crafts divine weapons and other inventions for his brethren on Mount Olympus. He is responsible for Zeus lightning bolts, and oftentimes legendary heroes will seek out Hephaestus to craft them a weapon for their quest. While Hephaestus was married to Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty, their marriage was shaky. Zeus allowed Hephaestus to marry Aphrodite as a reward for freeing Hera from a trap he created. Zeus had planned to arrange them anyway for political reasons. Everything worked out in that situation. Not for their marriage, unfortunately. Aphrodite was so displeased with Hephaestus that she would often cheat on him with Ares. Hephaestus caught them and trapped them while in the middle of intercourse. Hephaestus brought this to Mount Olympus to show the Olympians the affair. Aphrodite and Ares were humiliated by the smith god. The Olympians laughed at them for getting caught. Moral of the story here, don't upset Hephaestus. He's a very petty god. 8. Hermes. The gods of trade. Look, Hermes may not be the most elegant or dangerous god out there. Think about it, though. Hermes is the herald to Olympus and Earth, which makes him the messenger. So when Zeus finds his next mortal one night stand, he needs Hermes to deliver the apology letter. What if Hades wants to send hate mail to Kronos? Hermes is your guy. He'll carry that letter. No problem. There's no place this winged shoe delivery boy can't go. When he was just an infant, he stole an entire herd of cattle from Apollo and hid them in a cave without their hooves. Some of those hooves he used to create his magical wing shoes. When Apollo caught Hermes and brought him to Zeus for judgment, Zeus found it so amusing that he let Hermes get away with it. 7. Artemis. Greek goddess of the hunt, the wilderness, wild animals, the moon, and chastity. Artemis is the daughter of Zeus and Leto, and the twin sister of Apollo. She was the patron and protector of young children and women, and was believed to both bring disease upon women and children and relieve them of it. Artemis was worshipped as one of the primary goddesses of childbirth and midwifery along with Iliathea. Much like Athena and Hestia, Artemis preferred to remain a maiden and was sworn never to marry. Artemis was one of the most widely venerated of the ancient Greek deities, and her temple at Ephesus was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Artemis symbols included a bow and arrow, a quiver, and hunting knives, and the deer and the cypress were sacred to her. Diana, her Roman equivalent, was especially worshipped on the Aventine Hill in Rome, near Lake Nemi in the Alban Hills, and in Campania. 6. Hera Queen of the Gods. Hera is the goddess of women, marriage, family, and childbirth in ancient Greek religion and mythology, one of the twelve Olympians and the sister and wife of Zeus. She is the daughter of the titans Cronus and Rhea. Hera rules over Mount Olympus as Queen of the Gods. A matronly figure, Hera served as both the patroness and protectress of married women, presiding over weddings and blessing marital unions. One of Hera's defining characteristics is her jealous and vengeful nature against Zeus' numerous lovers and illegitimate offspring, as well as the mortals who cross her. Hera is commonly seen with the animals she considers sacred, including the cow, lion, and the peacock. Portrayed as majestic and solemn, often enthroned, and crowned with the polos, a high, cylindrical crown worn by several of the great goddesses, Hera may hold a pomegranate in her hand, 
emblem of fertile blood and death and a substitute for the narcotic capsule of the opium poppy. 5. Kronos. Kronos, was the king of the titans and the god of time, in particular time when viewed as a destructive, all-devouring force. He ruled the cosmos during the Golden Age after castrating and deposing his father Auranos, Uranus, Sky. In fear of a prophecy that he would in turn be overthrown by his own son, Cronus swallowed each of his children as they were born. Rhea managed to save the youngest, Zeus, by hiding him away on the island of Crete, Crete, and fed Cronus a stone wrapped in swaddling clothes. The god grew up, forced Cronus to disgorge his swallowed offspring, and led the Olympians in a ten-year war against the Titans, driving them in defeat into the pit of Tartarus. Many human generations later, Zeus released Cronus and his brothers from their prison, and made the old Titan king of the Elysian Islands, home of the Blessed Dead. 4. Ares. The God of War. The God of War and Violence. Do not get on Ares's bad side. Not only is he very discourteous, and he has a nasty temper. One wrong word and he'll beat you to a bloody pulp. Ares was a driving force for the Trojan army. Very similar to how Athena was a driving force for the army of Athens. Just like how Ares and Athena fought. So did Athens and Troy. In the Pantheon. Ares and Athena never saw eye to eye. Ares gave the world violence and weapons. While Athena gave the world art, literature, and diplomacy. Things Ares hated. Ares' influence is what made him powerful. Mortals relied on him for victory but were often scared of him. Ares was a violent individual who had an insatiable bloodlust. Even the Olympians don't like him all too much. Out of revenge, Ares killed one of Poseidon's sons because they had raped one of his daughters. When it judged at trial, Ares was freed and proclaimed not guilty. 3. Poseidon, the god of the sea. Poseidon was one of the twelve Olympians in ancient Greek religion and myth, god of the sea, storms, earthquakes and horses. In pre-Olympian Bronze Age Greece, he was venerated as a chief deity at Pylos and Thebes. He also had the cold title Earthshaker. In the myths of isolated Arcadia he is related with Demeter and Persephone and he was venerated as a horse, however it seems that he was originally a god of the waters. He is often regarded as the tamer or father of horses, and with a strike of his trident, he created springs which are related with the word horse. His Roman equivalent is Neptune. Poseidon was protector of seafarers, and of many Hellenic cities and colonies. Homer and Hesiod suggest that Poseidon became lord of the sea following the defeat of his father Cronus. When the world was divided by lot among his three sons, Zeus was given the sky, Hades the underworld, and Poseidon the sea, with the earth and Mount Olympus belonging to all three. In Homer's Iliad, Poseidon supports the Greeks against the Trojans during the Trojan War and in the Odyssey, during the sea voyage from Troy back home to Ithaca, the Greek hero Odysseus provokes Poseidon's fury by blinding his son, the Cyclops Polyphemus, resulting in Poseidon punishing him with storms, the complete loss of his ship and companions, and a ten-year delay. Poseidon is also the subject of a Homeric hymn. In Plato's Timaeus and Critias, the legendary island of Atlantis was Poseidon's domain. Athena became the patron goddess of the city of Athens after a competition with Poseidon, and he remained on the Acropolis in the form of his surrogate, Erechtheus. After the fight, Poseidon sent a monstrous flood to the Attic Plain, to punish the Athenians for not choosing him. 2. Zeus. The god of thunder and sky. Zeus, is the sky and thunder god in ancient Greek religion, who rules as king of the gods of Mount Olympus. Zeus is the child of Cronus and Rhea, the youngest of his siblings to be born, though sometimes reckoned the eldest as the others required disgorging from Cronus's stomach. In most traditions, he is married to Hera, by whom he is usually said to have fathered Ares, Hebe, and Hephaestus. At the Oracle of Dodona, his consort was said to be Dione, by whom the Iliad states that he fathered Aphrodite. Zeus was also infamous for his erotic escapades. These resulted in many divine and heroic offspring, including Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Persephone, Dionysus, Perseus, Heracles, Helen of Troy, Minos, and the Muses. He was respected as an all. Father who was chief of the gods and assigned roles to the others, even the gods who are not his natural children address him as father, 
and all the gods rise in his presence. He was equated with many foreign weather gods, permitting House Anias to observe that Zeus is king in heaven is a saying common to all men. Zeus symbols are the thunderbolt, eagle, bull, and oak. In addition to his Indo-European inheritance, the classical cloud gatherer also derives certain iconographic traits from the cultures of the ancient Near East, such as the scepter. Zeus is frequently depicted by Greek artists in one of three poses, standing, striding forward with a thunderbolt leveled in his raised right hand, or seated in majesty. 1. Hades, the god of death. Hades, is the god of the dead and the king of the underworld, with which his name became synonymous. Hades was the eldest son of Cronus and Rhea, although this also made him the last son to be regurgitated by his father. He and his brothers, Zeus and Poseidon, defeated their father's generation of gods, the Titans, and claimed rulership over the cosmos. Hades received the underworld, Zeus the sky, and Poseidon the sea, with the solid earth, long the province of Gaia, available to all three concurrently. In artistic depictions, Hades is typically portrayed holding a bident and wearing his helm with Cerberus, the three-headed guard dog of the underworld, standing to his side. Hades is a great deceiver. When he kidnapped Persephone, the gods were on a rampage and demanded that he return her to Demeter, Persephone's mother. Hades was willing to compromise. As long as she stayed in the underworld for half a year, she would be able to walk the earth for the other half. However, this was before he fed her a pomegranate, which forced her to stay in the underworld. This trick was so powerful that not even the almighty Zeus could do anything to lift it. That's all the topmost strongest gods in Greek mythology. Hope you like the video, press like, subscribe and the bell notification to notify you to my latest topmost video uploads, stay tuned. And I always thank you so much for watching, goodbye.